Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making burritos. Sure, Ron Burgundy might come to mind when you think of burritos. This burrito's good, but it's filling. But from now on, I hope you think of Buddha. Why? Well, not just because Ron Burgundy litters. The main reason is balance. Too many beans and not enough meat can disrupt the yin and yang of your burrito and lead to the dreaded burrito blowout. I'm going to show you how I make burritos that, for me, achieve total burrito harmony. Let's make burritos. Grill the meat or seafood of your choice. Today I'm making steak seasoned with a little salt, pepper, and chipotle powder. Remove your meat from the grill and allow it to rest. While the meat is resting, I'm going to make the guacamole. Mash ripe avocado, add salt, pepper, and continue mashing. This is a great simple guacamole. And you can stop here if you want, or you can add jalapeno, onion, cilantro, and tomato. Get this good and combined, and add a generous squeeze of lime. Better give this a taste. Mm. While I make the guacamole, I also stir up a bowl of pico de gallo. It's basically the same mixture as the guacamole, but no avocado. Now that our meat has sufficiently rested, I'm going to slice it then cut it into bite-sized pieces. Let's roll some burritos. This is a burrito-sized flour tortilla that I'm going to layer with beans, a little cheese, a generous amount of steak, some pico de gallo, some grilled onions, a little more cheese, and some Mexican rice. Maybe a little bit more cheese. Then fold over the sides of the tortilla and roll up, squeezing and tucking gently as you roll. It helps to get your fingers a little wet before rolling. If you want to make smaller burritos, simply cut a burrito-sized flour tortilla in half. Layer the ingredients, taking care not to overstuff, or you could suffer a burrito blowout, which is never a good thing. Here is the regular-sized burrito, and here's the smaller version, which is still pretty big. You can serve your burrito just like this, or you can go one step further and make it even more awesome. Place the burrito in a hot skillet like this, or on a hot grill. This turns the insides of the burrito into molten burrito nirvana, and gives the outside a toasty crunch. Give the burrito a slice, and there you have it, grilled steak burritos. You can fill a burrito with practically anything. Just keep the ingredients in balance. Burritos are perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, depending on what you roll inside. And if you take your burrito on the road, don't even think about throwing the leftovers out the window. <sighs> Get the burrito and guacamole recipes at averagebetty.com. See you next time. Mmm, grilled steak burrito. <laughs>